All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Dark Souls. Um, it's a new day of playing since we left off in the uh, the Duke's archives. Um, I have quite a bit of an introduction to give you, so this is going to be several minutes. Um, I apologize for that, but there's several things I would like to explain to you. So I have been doing some things off of off camera. All right, I also did a little bit of research. I'll openly admit it because I had no idea what to do against Seath the Dragon. And come to find out, he is completely invincible in that room I keep going to. You can't kill him from there. You have to go through an alternate path and go through the crystal cave in order to get to a place to actually kill him. Now, how I would have ever figured this out, I have no earthly idea. I don't think I ever would. Um, so that pisses me off that that's in the game. But before I went to the alternate path, what I did was I went back. I fast traveled back to... Uh, the Undead Parish visited Andre the Blacksmith, and I used my Twinkling Titanite to upgrade my, uh, I'll show you, to upgrade my Black Knight Halberd to plus five, all right, the max, uh, you know, standard level. Um, I actually had to go to Honor Orlando to the Blacksmith there and buy another Twinkling Titanite, but I, I was able to upgrade it to plus five, all right, so it does a ton of damage now. As you can see, I do 485 damage with my right-handed weapon, all right? So then I came back to the Duke's archives, and I found the alternate path um, that pops out on this balcony up there with this ladder that you come down. Once I was in here, I went to these areas, and there was a ton of chests, all right? And here, there was these three chests. There was three chests, one there, there, and there was a mimic here. And then there's another chest back here. And I found all kinds of good stuff. I found the pants I'm wearing now, which is the... What's it called? I'm currently wearing the waist cloth of the Channelers. I found a whole Channeler armor set you can see right here. Um, the waist cloth of the Channelers was actually a better defense than the pants of the Favor, or whatever it was called. Um, and it weighed less. So I equipped those, but that's the only part, the only piece of the armor I equipped. I also found, uh, I found a helmet, crazy looking thing. All right, this right here, symbol of avarice, which is the head of a mimic that you can put on your head. It boosts item drop uh, and soul uh, absorption, but it drains your HP like crazy while you wear it. So, this is really good to wear if you're going around farming. It's going to drain your health, but it's not that big of a deal. If you're just going farming, you can keep, uh, you know, drinking Estus. So, I'm going to keep this on me. If I ever need to go farming for souls or items or whatever, I'm just going to wear that and do it. So, I found that, and then, um, I think that's what I got when I killed the Mimic. He also dropped a weapon. He dropped this, the Enchanted Falcon, which I'm not going to equip right now, but it's cool that I have that. Um, and also when I came back through here, this chest back here had a crystal ember in it. Alright, wherever it is. I don't know, it's somewhere. Here it is, crystal ember. And you can ascend something, I guess, to crystal status, even though crystal's kind of crappy because it breaks so quick. But anyway, I found the ember, that ember. And, uh... Yeah, basically found that. So they might, might have found one or two other things, but nothing that I'm currently using. And then when you search in these rooms, you pull this lever, and what it does is it opens a secret passage, which is that this bookcase right here. It opens that, and it, it links right back to uh, this bonfire, which is outside. And uh, apparently this bonfire is not yet kindled, so, what I need to do is actually, uh, kindle it since I have a humanity. I'm gonna go ahead and do it once. Alright. Alright, now it's kindled. Okay, so, um, now that that's done, there should be a path out of here, uh, toward the area that I need to go. 
which is supposedly outside to where the crystal caves are, but I don't see it. So, alright, give me a second. I actually need to figure out I thought for sure that one of these areas was the way to get out of here. It's where I needed to go, but I don't I'm not seeing the a path right now, which is kinda weird. It's like I would've dude, I would have never figured this out. Like I just I would never would have figured this shit out. It's so freaking cryptic, like... I guess I should have made sure I knew how to get out of here before I started the video. Oh well. I guess I should have thought about that. I thought, from what I remembered, when you came down here, it was pretty easy to find the path to get out. Maybe not. Huh. I guess I, I never did see which way to go to get out of here. Which is kind of weird. Alright, sorry about this guys. I, th I thought I knew how to get out. That's why I started the video late. Because I wanted to make sure I knew how to get out of this place. And Apparently I didn't figure it out. at the part where he's killing the Mimic right now. Oh. This is a hidden stairway right here. Gotcha. Alright. Anyway, I apologize, guys, that I'm look that I have to look this kind of stuff up. I mean, like I said, I wanted to do this as much as I could without looking stuff up. Um, I haven't looked up past this point, so I don't know what's coming up. Um, he's not dead yet. Twenty prism stones. Those are the things you can drop and check height. So, I'm guessing I'm going to have to use those or they wouldn't give them to me. Alright, so here you go. This is how you get outside, apparently. So, from here on, I don't know what to expect. But like I said, dude, like... This is, this is the stuff I don't like about this game. For the most part, this game is awesome and I really love it. But when you make stuff just that cryptic to where... It's just like... How you would ever find this stuff out? Oh, you you have to go down this alternate path, and then you have to go punch your PlayStation exactly two inches from the top and three inches from the left, and and then do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around, and then you're able to. Uh, Go where you need to go. It's like, come on, dude. You know, like, 
doesn't add anything to the game. It doesn't make it fun. It doesn't make it challenging. It makes it just annoying. Like, the game is challenging on its own. The enemies are tough and stuff like that, but it's like... Crystal Cave, alright. This is where I need to be. Path ahead. Goodbye. I also hate to say this too, again, because I didn't want to look this up, but, you know... Uh... My friend told me, too, he's like, yeah, because I was asking him, I was like, how, how would you ever figure out, you know, that, that, that that's what you're supposed to do to, you know, find Seath? Like, there's no way you would just, like, figure that out unless you were just lucky, you know? So I asked him, he's like, yeah, well, guess what? Oh, I see him down there. He's like, guess what? Is that, uh, he's like, did you, did you, uh... Do you have this ring of blah blah blah? I'm like, uh, no, I don't even know what you're talking about. And he's like, yeah, if, if you want to go fight the, uh, the, the kings of New Londo, he's like, you need to have this special ring, because if you don't have it, uh, then it's instant death every single time. What, what the hell? What? How are their messages floating? Is this some invisible crap? Is this why I need the, uh... Hold on. I don't need these stupid throwing spears. Let's equip these... Yeah, let's equip these prism stones. Is this where I need this? Oh my god. What the hell? Well, I'm certainly glad I'm playing online and I could see this. Because I would have had no fucking idea otherwise. Wow, dude. Like I said, that, that is my biggest complaint by far with this game, is that... Well, I'm dead. That's nice. My biggest complaint with the game is just the overly cryptic stuff of like main critical things that you need to know how to do so yeah apparently that ring that you have to have you know that that door with the sealed crest on it in the dark root forest it's behind there there's a boss that's behind there and you have to kill him to get the ring completely you know couldn't be any further from the actual area of new londo you need to buy a special crest to open the door. It costs 20,000 souls to do that. And it's just like... I don't know if they give you any indication that you need this ring. I would, The way this game goes, I would doubt it. But it's like... Come on, man. You know, the game is hard enough. The game has enough hidden stuff in it that there's just no need for that. I mean, to the people who beat this game and never look one thing up, you have my praise, because I, I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be able to figure this stuff out. You know, I would never have figured this stuff out. Where the hell did this one come from? Obviously, I get it. Like, they wanted to make some things cryptic and challenging and all that, and, you know, I completely understand that, but, oh, okay, I was supposed to know that that was going to happen, and I lost 16,000 souls because of, uh, nonsense. Oh, well, I guess it's a good thing right now, I really don't care about souls anymore, man, like, I don't care. <laughs> I've just given up on caring about souls, like... 
I'm a pretty high level right now, you know, I have really good damage on my weapon, good equip load, good health and stamina, like, you know. Pretty much I view any extra levels up now at this point as, you know, bonus. Because obviously with this, at this point in the game, you know, you can't get attached to your souls, man, you just can't. And yeah, another thing. Like, oh, the first time you find Seath in that room, you know, he, he's gonna kill you, he's invincible. Okay, well that's nice, so you mean to tell me that there's no way anyone playing this first time, playing this game for the first time would know that? And so, any souls and whatever and humanity they have, they just lose it. Can't get it back. Like, come on, dude, that's just... I, don't, I just don't like that about this game. I like the difficulty, I like the fact that it doesn't hold your hand and that it doesn't tell you... Uh, where the hell did this other guy come from? And the fact that it is open world and you can go wherever you want and stuff, but it's like, for certain things, it's just like, give me a break, dude. Seriously, give me a break. They just don't want you to be able to go into this cave without fighting these two. So I was going to try to do, I was just going to try to... Not pull these guys and deal with them, but all right. At least they give you a lot of souls, and they're not that hard to kill. They're just kind of annoying. They're just annoying over here because they can knock you off the platform. But other than that, it is what it is. So okay, died again. Psst. Thought that was the right way. It's not. Try not to get frustrated, you know. Just try to deal with it and accept it. It's just, it kind of sucks for a playthrough. You know, a film playthrough because you guys have to sit here. You know, and watch me do this stuff over and over and over again. Which can't be enjoyable for you. And it's like, I apologize, but there's, no, there's really nothing else I can do. I, I mean, I want to show you me playing the game. There's some things that, you know, I haven't put on camera, where I've, I, you know, just had to go through a part a hundred times, and I'm like, well, you know, people don't want to see me do this, so let me just get through it and start recording when I get past it, um, but, you know, other stuff, it's like I'm already filming, so. This is where this other guy comes from. But, you know, I am determined to beat this game, and so if it means replaying stuff a bunch of times, if it means looking some stuff up here and there just so I can advance in the game, then I'm going to do it, you know? I'd rather have to look some stuff up than just get so frustrated because I can't figure anything out that I wind up, you know, not finishing the game, and I don't want to do that. So... It's not my fault that they made the game as cryptic as hell, so... These guys drop blue tight night chunks. I don't even know what those are for. I don't even know what you use those for. Again, I've, I've heard this from other people, too. It's like, they all say the same thing that I feel. It's like, the game is hard enough. Just with the difficulty and the fact that, you know... You lose your souls every time you die and stuff like that. So, it's just kind of like... Wait a second. That's not a seath. That's a, that's a moonlight butterfly. That's what that is. That's exactly what that is. Great, I'm gonna have to fight one of those again. Extra special. Mm 
mean, I guess somehow. I don't know how you actually get on top of this... This thing. Maybe you... Huh. I don't know how to do it. Can I get her attention, maybe? There you go. Yeah. wonder if she'll work the same way. She can still hit you right there. Oh good. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about that. Fuck that. I ain't fighting her. It ain't worth it. It's really not worth it. I thought maybe, you know... <clears throat> I feel like a lot of this stuff too is just for people who are playing New Game Plus. You know, who understand all this stuff, know where they're going, and... Or they don't really care about the souls or cool with taking risks For me at this point, I think I should just stick to trying to get to where I need to go and not doing too much else So I'm just gonna get myself in trouble and I'm just gonna get frustrated with it so This is where this other guy is. Now that I know that. It's definitely a good area for farming though. I mean, these guys drop a lot of souls. Okay, so forget the Moonlight Butterfly. Let's uh, just keep going. Just try to get where we need to get. These invisible freaking... Uh, invisible walkways, which is always fun. Oh, good job. Somehow I didn't fall off. Alright. I'm actually glad you can choose whether or not to uh, to pull her because I would not want to fight that butterfly. It's a hidden path right there, see? But I'm not worried about that. Worried about this one. Thank God I'm online, dude, because, you know. I probably could outrun this guy that way, but. There is a bunch of moonlight butterflies here. Apparently this guy's a really tough one. Yep, gives you 2,500 souls.
you have to go fight her? So there's there's a, a hidden path this way. I don't know how far out it goes. So I guess there's a shortcut to get around her. Still gotta fight this dude, though. Unless it's not really a shortcut, this is just an optional freaking place. I'm dead. <laughs> 